Hi, I'm Julian, and this is the Mandelbrot Table. First things first, this video assumes a basic understanding of what the Mandelbrot set actually is. So if you need an introduction to the subject, I'll link some great content on YouTube below. So last year, I was watching a bunch of the aforementioned content on YouTube, and I thought it would be really cool to create a fractal explorer of my own. Even cooler than that, though, would be to create a fractal explorer that brought the Mandelbrot set into a more physically bounded, tangible space inside my home. In addition to that, I was kind of fascinated by the infinity mirror and epoxy copy tables I was seeing on YouTube, but I wanted to create something that was uniquely mine. So a Mandelbrot Explorer coffee table was kind of a natural conclusion. Plugging in the table boots straight into the Mandelbrot set. From there, you can move around and zoom in and out on the Mandelbrot set. Pressing the second knob from the left, activates Julia set mode for the C value pointed to by the crosshair. A short press shows you the Julia set in place, which means that in our equation f of z equals z squared plus c, the first value of z is equal to c instead of zero. Long pressing the knob shows you the whole Julia set pointed to by the crosshair. From there, you can use the knobs on the right to move around like normal or you can use the knobs on the left to change the Julia set you're looking at, as if the crosshair were still on the Mandelbrot set. The knob in the middle changes the exponent of the function being iterated, which gives us a multibrot, or a multi-Julia. This table has taken me about six months of on and off work from conception to finish, and most of that time was spent writing the software. When I conceived of this project, I had no idea what I would actually use to draw the fractals to the screen, and after a bit of deliberating, I settled on C++ and OpenGL. I did have experience with C++, but I had never used OpenGL before, so there was a bit of a learning curve getting started. I followed along with a really excellent tutorial series on OpenGL from a channel called The Cherno until I felt ready to do my own thing, and then I took it from there. Once I had the basics down, drawing my first Mandelbrot set was pretty easy, but most of the challenge in this project was in building the Explorer and getting it to run smoothly on a Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look at the underside of the table and I'll show you what's going on underneath. Underneath the table, we have an IPS computer monitor. At first, I tried to go cheap and use a monitor from a thrift store, but the viewing angles when it was horizontal were so bad that it wasn't really feasible. This monitor isn't perfect, but the viewing angles are much better than a TN panel. The panel is mounted to a 12-gauge steel frame I cut from a sheet I got from a local metal fabricator. After an unsuccessful attempt with a jigsaw, I went to Harbor Freight for a cheap tool and got an angle grinder to cut out the frame and remove the mill scale. I designed some brackets to hold the monitor in place in Fusion 360 and 3D printed them, then JB welded them to the frame before spray painting the whole thing. Connected to the panel is a Raspberry Pi which in hindsight probably wasn't the best candidate for this project. The Pi 4B is a pretty competent little machine for general computing, but the GPU is not that great, and it's iterating the fractal equation up to 400 times per pixel, which at 1080p gets really slow on the Pi. If I were doing the project again from scratch, I would use an FPGA for at least part of the project, because the dedicated circuitry would be perfect for this application of running the same function over and over again. The way I worked around the limited capabilities of the Pi was actually to render to a texture that was smaller by a factor of 3 on both dimensions, so one ninth as many pixels, and then sample the texture back at full resolution. Once that frame is rendered, we do the same thing again with the dimension scaled down by a factor of 2, and finally a frame at full resolution. The lower resolution is most needed to make things smooth when changing Julia sets, as ideally we draw a new frame for each click of the rotary encoder. In other situations, we just draw one frame and sample that texture back when the crosshair moves so we don't have to do the math again until the image changes. The knobs are rotary encoders which plug into the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi, which uses a Python script to turn the input signals into key press events. So essentially, these knobs are acting as a virtual keyboard. 
That makes it so nothing has to change to turn the program on my PC into a program on the Pi. I originally intended for only the encoder shaft to come through the top of the table, but mistakes were made, so I designed and printed some plugs to fit in the holes, soldered everything up, and Bob was my uncle. If you'd like to play with the Fractal Explorer yourself, you can. Head over to my GitHub page and there's a link to a Windows binary available to download. Thanks for watching!